Here we are in our natural selection simulation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this hamburger menu up here. And if you're following along on Amplify on your computer or other device, you can do this as well. So I simply went to Amplify, clicked on the natural selection simulation. And where I'm going to go is go to our reproduction claims in the hamburger menu there. I'm going to load those reproduction claims. And I'm going to go ahead and get set up with our first trial and in our first trial I'm going to start with blue number one so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom in over here and I'm going to look for an ostrilope that has a blue number one color level so here is one right here and then when I run the simulation I can go a little bit closer so I can follow my blue number one ostrilope and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the simulation and count how many times my ostrilope with a color level of one um, reproduces. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and we're, we'll count together how many times this ostrilope is able to reproduce. Now, if this ostrilope gets eaten before reproducing, he'll just get a, um, a number zero in our data table. So let's go ahead and watch and see how many times this ostrilope reproduces. All right, I see this ostrilope is reproducing once. And then, unfortunately, he got eaten. So I'm going to take my pen or my pencil, and in my data table that I just drew in my notebook here, I'm going to write down a 1 for trial 1 blue, 1. All right, we just did trial 1 blue, 1. Now we are going to zoom in again. I've reset my simulation, and I'm going to look now for an ostrilope that has blue number 4 a blue number four color. So that leads me to believe it'll be kind of bluish green. So let me see if we can find one. There's a three, here's a four, fantastic. So I'm gonna run the simulation and again, we're gonna count how many times the ostrilope with blue number four color wise uh, reproduces. So let's go ahead and count how many times this ostrilope reproduces. Our astrolope is just eating at the moment. Oh, he's found, finding a mate. So that's once, that's twice. That's three times it's reproduced. And then he gets eaten. So I'm going to document that with my pencil on my data table right here. Trial one blue number four is uh, reproduced three times. So make sure you have that in your data table as well. All right, so I've reset my simulation now, and now I'm going to be looking for a yellow number seven ostrilope. So let me zoom in here, and I want to find a yellow number seven. That's a number eight. So let's find a yellow seven. That's a nine. There we go. Here's a yellow number seven ostrilope. And again, what we're going to do is when I run it, we'll count how many times this particular ostrilope reproduces. Oh, looks like he's found a mate. Okay, so this is number one time it reproduces. Notice how the carnathons are just kind of passing it by. Here's the second time it's reproducing. Third time it's reproducing and then it has gotten eaten. So I'm going to pause the simulation right down there and I'm going to go ahead and write down this ostrilope yellow number seven also reproduced three times before it was eaten and that's again trial number one yellow seven it reproduced three times. 
All right, so I reset my simulation again, and now I'm looking for an Australope with a yellow color 10, a yellow color 10. And so I feel like this one might be one. Oh, that's close. It's a, a yellow number nine. Let's see if I can find a yellow 10. That's a seven, which we just did. Yellow 10, maybe one of these. Oh, clicked on the wrong one. That's a nine. That's a nine. Here's a 10, fantastic. So I'm gonna zoom in and here's our friendly little Australope level 10 color. And I'm gonna run the simulation and again, we're gonna count how many times this particular Australope reproduces. Okay, unfortunately that one got eaten really quickly. So I'm just gonna mark that down as a zero on my data table. So I've taken my pencil and I've written down zero. Um, where it says trial one, yellow 10, okay? Now, that's only one trial, right? We need more evidence and more data so that we can make a further conclusion about the population as a whole. So we're gonna do uh, trials two, three, four, and five as well. Um, same thing, we'll look at the Australope color that's designated and we'll count how many times it reproduces. All right, we are in trial two, folks, and I'm looking for blue Australope um, with a color level of one, and we are gonna zoom in and go ahead and count how many times this Australope reproduces for trial two. Let's go ahead and watch. And it got eaten right away before it could even reproduce. So I'm gonna mark that down as a zero. Let's go um, ahead and reset and go straight into a Australope with blue number four. Let's go ahead and find one if we can. There we go, here's a blue level four Australope and let's how, count how many times it reproduces as well. Okay, that's once that it reproduces. and then unfortunately got eaten. So um, for blue, Australia blue four, for trial two, that was only a one. Gonna go ahead and reset, and let's find an Australia with a yellow color seven. Fantastic, and we'll zoom in a little bit further so we can see, and we'll run it, and count how many times it reproduces. So that's once, that's twice, notice how some of the carnathons are just passing it by, that's three times, that's four times, five times, six times, seven times, this Australop is camouflaged very well. So we're at seven times so far. a little bit of patience and waiting. And then it has gotten eaten after seven times of reproducing. So for trial two, this Australope with yellow color seven reproduced seven times. And let's do our last one for trial number two, folks. This is a yellow color 10 Australope. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and find a yellow color 10. That one was a nine. Make sure I reset. Here's a yellow 10. So we're gonna follow this Australope and see how many times it reproduces. Okay, unfortunately that one got eaten right away. So I'm gonna document that on my data table as a 
uh, zero for the amount of reproduction it did. Um, we're going to go ahead and reset and let's move on to trial number three now as well.